सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एच टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड एच टी एम एल लिंक्स सो एच टी एम एल सी एस एस सो सी एस एस स्टेंस फॉर कैसकेडिंग स्टाइल शीट सी एस एस सेव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वर्क इट कैन कंट्रोल द ले आउट ऑफ मल्टीपल वेब पेज ऑल एट वंस ओके सो सी एस एस एक्चुअली हेल्प्स अस टू स्टाइल द वेब पेज स्टाइल आर वेब पेज इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग ईच स्टाइल टैग स्टाइल टैग फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पैराग्राफ वी कैन यूज सी एस एस टू डू दिस वर्क विच सेव आर लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम ओके दिस इज ऑल अबाउट एच टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ कैन वी पुट अ सी एस एस इन एच टी एम एल येस देर आर थ्री वेज इन विच वी कैन एड सी एस एस इन टू एन एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट फर्स्ट इज योर इन लाइन इन लाइन बाय यूजिंग द स्टाइल एट्रीब्यूट Inside HTML element, okay. Internal by using a style element in the head section, and external. This is uh, by using a link element to link to an external CSS file. We will be creating a CSS file externally, and then we are going to link that file in HTML. The most common way to add CSS is to keep the style in external CSS file. However, in this tutorial we will use inline and internal css because this is easier to demonstrate and easier for you to uh, to try to yourself okay uh, we are going to see all these things in the vs code after html css uh, we will going to learn about html links which are called hyperlink html link are hyperlink you can click on the link and jump to another document When you move the mouse over a link, the mouse arrow will turn into a little hand, and this is the syntax of your HTML link. I'm going to explain all these things that what is a, what is href, each and everything. Okay, and HTML link there is also a target attribute in HTML link, and this target attribute specify where to open the link document. the target attribute can have one of the following values first is your self that is default open the document in the same way in the same window or the tab as it was clicked next one is blank that means open the document in the new window or tab and this open the document in the parent frame and the top open the document in the full body of the window so let's move forward to our vs code so first is your inline css uh, in inline css we simply use uh, your uh, style attribute for example uh, like this this is what this is your inline css okay now after inline there is internal css which is mostly uses so in internal css what we do what we do we provide uh, the we used uh, your uh um, style tag in the head section for example uh, i'll provide style over here yes style okay and if i want to make the changes okay okay so now i want that the body color should be red so i'll type body okay uh, okay body and then what i want in body i want background color Okay, sorry. I don't want this. I want background uh color to be uh what uh, okay red. Okay, instead of red, just take something nice color. Okay, we'll see this uh, some light shade. Okay, in the background we want some light shade. Okay, so we'll see that how this internal CSS is working. Okay. Okay, I am going uh, live. Okay, go live, and yeah. Did you see? This is how our internal CSS work. Okay, and after internal CSS, there is a third way which is called external CSS. In external CSS, what we do, uh, we make another file. I'll say. style dot css another css file okay 
and I'll write body what I want a background color to be uh, aqua okay just take aqua okay save and what will I do I'll provide this link in head section okay in head okay in head okay i'll write it here no problem in head i like link what i want to link yes okay here i have to provide the link that is style.css okay style it is already showing me okay we'll see now what happens okay oh sorry Okay, so still uh, that this CSS is working, this one. Okay, if I comment this out, okay, like this and save it. And we'll see, see, the colors change. So these are the three options uh, through which we can apply uh, CSS in HTML. Now, the link in HTML link, or we can say hyperlinks, okay. So the syntax is if, okay, uh, so there is this image, I want to apply this image. Okay, I want to apply, okay, so I'll write A, A, what, this is a link. So href is the link, uh, what I'll do, google.com, let's see, that uh, is it going to work or not, okay, save. And now I am going to open my Chrome. Okay, okay, so it is not visible. See, okay, we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, so I have to write something that what I am showing. Okay, I guess I write Google. Okay, I am showing the side of the Google. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now it is visible. And as you can see, if I hover over it, it is showing this okay if i click on this my google web page is open okay and if i go back okay here's i come okay so now let's talk about the attribute uh, attribute that is your target attribute that where you want to open this uh, where uh, you want to open uh, this um, this google link okay Okay, so if I write, okay, I want to open this Google link in another page, not on this page. So what I will be using, I will be using our uh, target attribute, okay. So target, now I, what I want, I want blank, that is I want to jump on another page whenever I click on this google.com. We'll see what happens, okay, if I do this. Okay, now you see what happens. Another web page is open. Okay, so this is how it is going to work. Okay, so this was all about uh, this is your A. A stands for if the element has href element. Okay, this is called hypertext in which we are in href you provide the URL. Okay, and target is there that where you want to open this link. Okay. This was a blank and there were so many other options. Okay. If I write top, we'll see what happened. Okay. Let's open on this. Full body document is open. Okay. So this was all about your HTML uh, links and HTML CSS. Thank you.